Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. This is Teacher Louise, your mommy tutor. In today's video, I will be discussing about mole conversion, which is the mole to mass and mass to mole conversion. Um, in my previous video, we discussed about getting the mol molar mass or formula weight of a given compound. So, that formula or the topic that we or I just discussed last time will be needed when we solve the mole conversion, okay? Or when we do con mole conversion. So, in order to do mole conversion, there are things that we need to remember. The first thing that you need to remember when you are converting mole to grams or mass to mole is you need to always get the formula weight or the molar mass of the compound before you convert it. Okay? So, kailangan mo munang kunin yung molar mass ng compound. Okay? Before you convert. Kasi if you don't know the molar mass of that compound, not unless given naman, you don't need to get it. But if not, only the compound is given, you need to get the molar mass or the formula weight. Now, after you get the molar mass or the formula weight, that's the time you can compute the mole conversion or you can get the mass to mole or mole to mass. Okay, so convert to molar mass and then after molar mass, you convert it to what is being asked, kung ano yung hinahanap. If you are asked to convert that to mole, from mole to mass or mass to mole. Okay? Now, after that, there are things that you need to remember when you are converting mole to mass and mass to mole. So, depend on. It would be easier for you to do it if you know the dimensional analysis. Okay? So, in getting or converting mole conversion, kailangan alam mo rin yung converse, um, dimensional analysis na sinasabi. That would be easier because if you know the molar mass already, you can use the formula for the formula if you are given mole and you are converting it to mass, it will be mole times the molar mass, kung ano yung molar mass natin, over, so since mole to, at we are looking for the mass, mole here, it should be 1 mole times the gram, whatever be the gram of the compound, to get the mass is equal to the mass. Why we have to do it that way? Kasi we need to cancel out mole and mole here so that gram will be left. Now, if we are getting naman the mass to mole, let's say, given the mass, if you are getting the mole, given mass, times. This time, the gram should be down, or the mass should be down, and then the mole, one mole should be on top. Why? So that we can cancel out gram and gram here to get mole. Okay, because mole will be left after we cancel out. So, these are the two things. Okay, so these are the two things that you need to remember. Okay, if you are converting mole conversion. Okay, so I repeat. If you are looking for the mass given ng mole, ang gagamitin mo ay yung formula na yan. Okay, mole times gram over mole. If you are asked to find the mole at given ang mass, that will be gram times mole over gram to get the mole. Okay, so without further ado, para mas naintindihan kung ano yung sinasabi ko, let us do this example. Okay, so suppose you have a sample of sodium chloride or the NaCl that has a mass of 11.2 gram. How many moles of Sodium chloride are there. So, you need to identify first the given. What are the given? The given is the mass which is 11.2 grams. 
Okay, and you are finding the mole. Okay, and what is the compound, compound that we are using? That is the sodium chloride which is NCL. So the first thing na dapat natin gawin is you need to find the molar mass. So molar mass. Okay? Molar mass muna tayo. So what is the molar mass of Na and Cl? So the molar mass of NaCl is what is N? N is 23. Okay? And chlorine is 35.5. And how many molecules? There are only one atom of sodium. So that will be times 1. And chlorine is also 1. So multiplying this will get 23. 35.5 will be 35.5 because 1 pa rin. Adding them will get 58.5. Okay. So, ang mol natin or yung molar mass natin is 58.5. So, this is the molar mass gram per mol. Okay. Now that we know what the molar mass of this compound, sodium chloride, we are now ready to convert. Okay. So, since the given... Let us write what are the given. The given is the mass, which is 11.2 grams, and we are finding the mole. Okay, so since ang given natin ay mass, and what is unknown is the mole, we are going to use this formula. Gram times mole over gram to get the mole. Okay, eto, sorry, this one. So, this is the one that we will be using. That will be mass to mole. Okay? Now, so let us use this. So, given 11.2 grams times So, since gram is given, yung gram dapat yung nasa baba. And what is the molar mass? That is 58.5 grams in every 1 mole of NaCl or sodium chloride. Okay? And then after that, we are now ready to solve. So, cancel the grams. Cancel the grams. What's left is the mole. Okay? So, 11.2 grams divided by 58.5 mole is equal to 0.191 mole of NaCl. Okay? So, that is how we solve the mole of NaCl given with an 11.2 grams of sodium chloride. Okay, so the answer is 0 0.191 mole of sodium chloride. Now, what if we have this example naman? Another example. Para mas maintindihan na mabuti, let's do one more example. So, in this example, it says calculate the number of moles of sodium hydroxide in 85 grams of sodium hydroxide. So, again, the first thing na dapat natin gawin dito is to get the molar mass. Okay? So, kukunin muna natin ang molar mass. So, what is the given compound? It's sodium hydroxide. So, this is the given compound. Sodium hydroxide. So, Na and OH. So, from this given, there's only one sodium and there's only one hydroxide. Okay? So, but the OH here, we can make it into O and H. Kasi, compound naman siya. So, let's just put here O and then the other one here is H. Okay? 
Now, so sodium, sodium has 23, oxygen is 16, and hydrogen is 1. Okay, ito yung mga weight nila. Okay, atomic weight of sodium is 23, oxygen is 16, and hydrogen is 1. Adding them, we get 23, 16, 1, so that will be 40. Okay, so we have 40 grams per mole of sodium hydroxide. Okay, and again, what are the given? The given is mass, which is 85 grams. Okay, so we are finding again the mole. Okay, so since gram ang given, we have the formula gram times 1 mole over the gram. So this is the molar mass. So what is the given? It's 85. So 85 grams times. So grams here, so dapat yung grams nasa baba din. And what is the molar mass? It's 40 grams in 1 mole of sodium hydroxide. Okay? So, cancel the grams and grams. What's left is the mole. So, a 85 grams divided by 40 grams is equal to 2.12 mole of NaOH. So, this is the answer. So, there are 2.2 moles of sodium hydroxide in 85 grams of, uh, 85 grams of sodium, sodium hydroxide solution. Okay. Another. Now, what if we have this kind of problem? Calculate the mass in grams of 0. 720 mole of calcium phosphate. Okay, so you as you look here, calcium phosphate. So, ito yung cal calcium phosphate natin. So, the first thing that you need to know, get the molar mass again. Okay, so the molar mass here, you have to take note. This is the molar mass and what are the given? It is calcium, phosphorus, and oxygen but you need to take note also that we have this three here okay we have a subscript of three and also take note that we have a subscript inside at the same time we have a subscript outside so anong ibig sabihin we this two here is distributed to p and to oxygen so Three, how many atoms of calcium are there? Meron tayong three. So, we have three here. And then, phosphorus here is one times the two outside. So, that will be two. And four times two, that will be eight. So, four times two is eight. So, this is two times one. And there's just one here. So, we will be having... 3 calcium, 2 phosphorus, and 8 oxygen. But that is not the answer yet. We need to get the molar weight or the atomic weight of calcium. And calcium is equal to 40. So we have to multiply it by 40. And then phosphorus is equal to 31. And oxygen is 16. So, we need to multiply this by 16. So, 3 times 40, that will be 20. 2 times 31 will be 62. And 8 times 16 will be 128. So, adding them, we will get 310 gram per mole of calcium phosphate 
Okay? Now, since we already know kung ano yung molar mass ng calcium phosphate natin, we are now ready to get or to convert mass, mole to mass of the compound. Okay? So, since the given, what's the given? Mole is given to be 0 0.720. And we are looking for the mass. So, since mass ang hinahanap natin, so this time, we have to do or use the formula mole times mole, one mole, and the gram on top. Okay, so given natin is 0 0.20 mole times, so since mole is here, we also need to write the mole down. In every one mole, of calcium phosphate, the molar mass, we have 310 grams of calcium phosphate. Okay, cancel out mole and mole. So, what's left is just the gram or the mass. So, if we're going to divide that, 0 0.720 divided by times, I'm sorry. If we're going to multiply this, 0 0.720 times. 310 grams of calcium phosphate, it is equal to 223 grams of calcium phosphate. Okay, so this is the answer. This is the grams. So, in every 0 0.720 mole of calcium phosphate, there are 223 grams of calcium phosphate. So, this is how we convert mole to mass and mass to mole. So, don't forget... Whenever you are converting mole to mass or mass to mole, the first thing that you need to do first is get the molar mass. And then after getting the molar mass, that's the time you use the dimensional analysis to convert. So it depends. If you are given the mass and you are finding the mole, you are going to use this formula. Okay? So mass to mole you are going to use this formula so gram times mole over gram but if you are given mole and you are finding the gram that will be mole times gram over mole so you can cancel cancel the mole here and gram is left same as with this with this one given the gram kailangan gram din yun nasa baba para ma-cancel out matitira ko ano yung hinahanap okay so that's it for today i hope you learned something again Again, this is Teacher Louise, your mommy tutor. Bye!